When you're staying in Luxor, there are one or two places that you can go to that are just a simple day trip away. I have picked my top three here. This, the first one, Abydos in Dendra. Well, Abydos, the most exquisite temple in the world ever. Well, I think so. Built by the Seti I and finished by Ramses II. So when you look at the carvings as you're going in, you'll see the incised relief of Ramses II. And then as you go further back, you see the raised relief of Seti I. And it is just so exquisite. Seti really beautifully decorated his temples. There's seven chapels to the various gods and to Seti. And then at the back, you have this very queer structure, the Osirium, which the function of we're not exactly sure what it is and if you want to add another theory to the list um, your theory is probably as good as anybody else's but well worth a visit now there's no convoy you can spend as long in the temple as you want most people tend to do dendra as well on the way to abydos or on the way back and this is a very late temple ptolemaic um, dedicated to Hathor and it has crypts and it has uh, chapels on the roof it has decorated ceilings and it has the very famous zodiac ceiling which is in the Louvre in Paris so definitely see Dendra on your way back from Abydos. Our next ones are Edfu and Coomba and uh, Edfu is the most um, a complete temple that we have left. It also has the scenes of the contending of Seth and Horus and a um, uh, scene at the end where there's a, a small hippopotamus being speared by Horus and they think they actually had a hippopotamus shaped cake. So any of you that wants to do an Egyptian themed birthday party, do a hippopotamus shaped cake and say it's the contendings of Seth and Horus. Um, very uh, beautiful temple. It's got a, a mock-up of the boat or bark that would have been in the Holy of Holies in the main sanctuary. So uh, that same bark would have been in every sanctuary, in every temple. So it gives you a good idea of what things look like. Um, and the third one why not go to the Red Sea? You can go across to the Red Sea from uh, Luxor. It, it does take a time, about three, four hours, and we can arrange for you to go into the Red Sea, snorkeling if you like. There's a very nice day trip that goes out in a boat and lands on the island, and you can see all these lovely fish, and, and maybe you'll even catch one. And, um, you, you can look at the various shells and so forth along the beaches, the coral. It's a very, very, very nice, relaxing day by the sea. So those are the three day trips that you can do from Luxor. And if you come to Flats in Luxor, we can arrange all of those for you. Be delighted to do so. And we hope to see you soon in Luxor. Thank you.